Hey everybody, this is Kasu and welcome to the last day of Kenga week. Today we'll be going through Kenga economy. So what is Kenga economy? Kenga economy basically adds a money system into the game and also your very own store to sell said, uh, to earn such, such money. So how do you start selling items? Well, first of all, you have to create this trade store. One thing to note is that you are only allowed one trade store. Meaning if I were to create or put down another one, I am unable to put or sell anything inside that trade store. This includes the shop counter, which is a improved uh, trade store. So now that I have explained everything, uh, I will show you how to actually set it up. So first up, you have, for example, you have a trade store. I just put it on the ground here. And before you can start selling, you have to put down a register, either a preserving register or a basic sales register. The preserving register basically can help hold uh, preserve food, as the name suggests. Once you put it down, your shop has been set up. But how do you start selling or putting items up for sale? So once you uh, go to this, uh, the ones already set up, now you go to your sales register, you as you can see, it's quite a bit messy, but first thing first, you have to create your sales ledger. This is basically to keep track of what you have sold and what you have not sold. Secondly is this, the blank sales ticket. The blank sales ticket is the item you need to put a price tag on certain creatures, or on certain creatures, certain creatures and certain items. For example, let's say I want to sell this Idosaurus brain that I picked up. What I need to do is craft a blank sales uh, ticket, which requires just two fiber, very cheap. Take this ticket, mouse over the Allosaurus brain, and this particular sales ticket will appear. And as you can tell, it's not set. So how do I set it? So I just need to press this and press set price. Now here comes uh, the uh, money. I'm first of all I'm unsure what this type and item is. Uh, I'm yeah I'm very unsure what this type of item is. Uh, but from what I can understand is that if you put type, that means the item that you sell will be still permanently there. And uh, even if it runs out of stock, it will not remove itself. However, you set it to item, you can auto remove it. So how do you set your price? Uh, so it's simple. You can just, you know, do whatever you want. Like set whatever price you want. But let's say uh, I want to set this Allosaurus brain at 3 silver. And one thing to note is that in the game, currency is as so. Uh, one copper, copper is the lowest form of currency. Ten copper becomes one silver. Ten silver becomes one gold. So basically, hundred copper becomes one gold. And now that I set the price, uh, it is set. And currently, if I mouse over, if let's say like I'm a customer and I want to see, okay, I have a trade store here. Let me open up and see. Ah, okay, so these are the items that I have on sale. And you can see like, eh, uh, you also can sell animals. And you, uh, yes, you're right, you can actually sell animals or like dinosaurs also. How do you do that? In a very similar fashion, first craft your blank sales ticket, pick it up. For example, I already set the Stegosaurus on sale, but now I'll set this Allosaurus on sale. And I will just have to put this blank sales ticket inside, use it, and I will have this sales ticket. And now I just need to put it back inside the sales register, click on it, set the price, same thing. Uh, maybe I would say um, uh, seven, six silver. Okay. Now, how does the transaction work? So I have some coins over here. Let's say I am a customer and I want to be like, oh, okay, let's see what stores, what store, what stuff does this store have? Hmm, okay, uh, I I see that you have a, for example, this Spinosaurus sale. And I want to purchase it. I'll just press purchase. And they'll show that, okay, one, one uh, Spinosaurus is one go. And let's say I don't want to buy it. I can switch to this one and I switch to this particular uh, Cerebot vertebra. Purchase it. They'll show that one unit is for five silver. And let's say uh, I want to swap to this. They'll say uh, one unit is for three silver. And I forgot to add one more. Like for example, last one, I want to sell meat. 
I have to purchase it and they'll put 2C copper. Uh, one thing I can say about the mod is that maybe they should make the buying more obvious because uh, it took me a while to check. Uh, yes, the total cost is here, but you have to do some mental math on like, okay, what, how much is that technically? For example, this is 2 copper. Uh, this, if I want to buy, is 5 silver. And this, if I want to buy, is 1 gold. That kind of thing. Or let's say I want to buy this, buy this Tegosaurus is 2 gold. Um, buy this Allosaurus is uh, 6 silver. Yep. So uh, that's one of the critiques that I can tell the mod developer. However, let's go back to the tutorial. So let's say I want to buy, a, example, this Spinosaurus sale for one go. I uh, just press buy. And once it's bought, purchase is complete. I only have one Spinosaurus sale inside the uh, register itself. Hence why it goes to, it turns into sold. And if I were to go to this sales register and pick out the gold coin and open the sales ledger, the sales ledger can be opened either inside or I, I can pull it out and press E to open it or I can just put it inside the sales register and press open sales ledger and it will show the same then it will show you on which day uh, who bought what actually no it won't show who bought what but it will show you uh, your basically your transactions as you see one gold for one gold 10 copper for one silver this kind of thing before I move on to uh, where do you find the coins um, from my understanding, if you were to buy, for example, the Allosaurus or, the, or buy an animal in that sense, uh, you will automatically uh, own it. From my understanding, that's how it should work. <clears throat> now, where do you find gold coins or coins in Solid Street? Well, uh, from the mod developer, the gold coin is found on large carnivores. Reason being, uh, they are the leftover from, or rather they are the undigested coins that uh, are some unfortunate survivor, you know, got swallowed by. So for example, if I kill this Rex, I don't get any coin, but let's kill all the Rexes until I find one. Oh, let me just spawn some actually. Ah, finally, I spawned so many Rexes and I finally found one. Where, as you can see, when you kill a Rex, you will get copper and silver coin. Uh, from my understanding, it actually, or rather from the de mod developer, uh, it actually says that the coins given to a player uh, levels up based on the amount of EXP they have. Uh, from what I can interpret from that is, basically the amount of coins you get depends on the amount of EXP you have, and uh, it also uh, may depend on the creature that you kill. So in this case, large carnivores uh, have a chance to drop these uh, gold coins. So that's how you find gold coins. Now, before I end off uh, Kanga week, uh, just one final words for uh, the entirety of the Kanga mod. The entire Kanga mod, honestly speaking, is a very, very cool and very strong immersive uh, mod for Ark. Uh, not only for like, you know, the crafting part, but also the role playing parts and stuff. So if you have the chance, uh, please try out these mods. Uh, if you don't want to try out become a shop owner or something, uh, don't worry. You can just ignore that and play all the other mods like Blacksmith, uh, Culinary, Husbandry, Medical, all by yourself. But if you want to have a much more immersive like MMORPG kind of feel, uh, please uh, try to find or even better, make one server so that you can play with your friends uh, using all of these mods inside. And with that, I have come to the end of the video. I have also come to the end of Kenga week. Thank you guys so much for watching for these past few days. And I hope to see you guys in the next stream or next video. Bye!